Hey everybody, this is Garrett Pearson, day eight. I'm actually do, streaming live from my computer, so this might be a little different. Not sure if you guys can hear me perfectly, but uh, we should be live here in a second. We good? Okay, Lindsay says we're good on sound. So today we're on day eight, and <clears throat> we're gonna be talking about design your logo. This is step three. So Day six and day seven, uh, day six, you can go back, I'll put a, a video below, or a link to the video below on day six, where you can see where I went through all the 12 steps of software secrets, the 12 steps, the beginning steps of getting your software product, product off and ready and going to start building. And there is a process to this, and that's why I'm doing these videos um, each and every day weekdays until we launch software funnels Okay, and today I'm going to show you the software funnels logo We got it done last or a week and a half ago. We're super excited about it I'm going to show you something really cool that we also did with it um, so just quick uh, Number one the first step was brainstorm why your ideas should exist so brainstorm why your software is going to exist number two is Buy a domain name. Okay, and I went through in day seven. I'll also put a link to that below. Um, in day seven, I went over some domains that we paid $12 for, some do domains we paid $20,000 for. So buying a domain name. And step three today, we're going to be focusing on designing your logo. And you might be wondering why this would be so early in the steps. And it's because getting some, something tangible. You guys have to get wins, get these, these exciting wins in your, in your experience so that you can keep going over those roadblocks that you're gonna run into while designing your application, your app, your whatever your software product is. You need a logo, but it's also gonna help you having that logo, it's gonna help your designer when you get a designer. And we have a whole step on hiring a graphics designer, but I'm gonna show you a tip today on where you can go find a graphics designer really quick and easy. Um, but you're gonna also need that logo so that you're, when you're wireframing out all the pages of your software, you can already get that look and feel that you want. So it'll all flow really nice. Now get, keep this in mind, your logo can change. Um, if you look at the shopper approved logo, from where we started to where we are today. It's gone through four iterations, four different logo designs, and we finally stuck to the, this, this fourth one and it's gonna stay for a long time. So even though we d designed the Software Funnels logo for the Software Funnels software, it can change. Um, and just keep that in mind. So it's not gonna be stuck on whatever your designer comes up with. Now, one thing that you guys do need to know is we have an in-house graphics designer. So not all of you are gonna have an in-house graphics designer and that's okay. I'm gonna show you today where you can go to find your own designer um, and get a designer at a really good price and get some really good designers. And you can see some of the designs that they've already done in their portfolio so you can pick and choose who you wanna work with. So without further ado, let me share my screen. Uh, hopefully this will work. I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you our logo. And here it is. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is the new Software Funnels logo. And we we had the designer design it on a dark background. We had him design just the, the and this isn't perfect because I'm just opening a, an AI file in the, my preview on my Mac. So it's not perfectly what it looks like, but it's pretty close. So we had him design it on a dark background and a light background and we are super excited about it. So there it is, Soft, the Software Funnels logo. This is the first logo that we're gonna have while, design, um, while building out the Software Funnels. And again, we might change it down the road, but this is what we come up, came up with. This is Duke, our in-house designer, designed it, and we went over lots of different design styles, and this is what we finished. Now, I wanna show you something else that's really cool that we came up with. So in the software funnels, when they're going to different tools, we're gonna have this loading thing, and we might change it. Um, some of the, like Lindsay and Scott already want software funnels logo on the side there, but 
this is what we came up with. But you can see this is just an animated GIF, but we got the gears moving. And this is going to be super fun. It's not going to be this big. I just made a, the, showed you guys the big ones so that you guys could see it. But that's the software funnels a logo that's going to be loading whenever a page loads. So again, it's just an animated GIF. We're going to have the programmers, developers put this animated GIF in when it's loading. So super fun. Um, we actually got this done on Fiverr. I'll show you Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com for it. Usually you can get things done for about five bucks while that's loading. Um, but it could, this one costs us about 25 bucks to get this animated GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it. It's just a, a different style of file type for that. So Fiverr.com. Here you can see Fiverr.com, and you can get people to do things super cheap. I wouldn't get your logo designed here. You can, but I wouldn't do it here because you, you're going to get a $5 logo. I mean, you might get lucky, but I wouldn't do your logo here, but something like making this animated GIF, once we had the logo design and the icon, I just came over here and found somebody that could turn a logo into an animated um, image. So here's where you do want to go to find a designer. <clears throat> and it's on upwork.com, U-P-W-O-R-K.com, upwork.com. You can see you can get web developers, um, writers, designers, and creatives. How it works is you can you post a job on Upwork. So you sign up for it, post a job. You get lots of different people that give you bids. And you can bid by hour or by project. And then they work on your job and then you pay them. And this is where we find 99% of <clears throat> our any freelancers that we need. And this is actually where we found all of our develop the whole development team that we use. So this is where you want to go to find anything that you need to get done. And to get started, just go sign up, post your job, and see what happens. It's it's almost uh, addicting. Um, I use I've used this for years and years. It used to be Elance.com or Odesk.com. They they merged and created Upwork.com. It is addicting. You can get anything you can imagine done on Upwork.com. Even if you wanted your homework done, you could get your homework done. And people are on here, writers and graphic designers and web developers. So this is where you go to find that. Another one is 99designs.com. That's another place. And it's a, it's a little bit expensive, but what happens is you can get hundreds of designers designing different styles of logos for you. And it's really cool. So 99designs.com is another one. Upwork.com. Fiverr.com, there's others, um, freelance.com, there's other ones, but Upwork.com is the one that we use and we recommend. So that is our logo, and we're super excited to, you know, that was step three. So step three was design your logo. Step four is create an opt-in page, and we already got all of these steps done. We are, we are two and a half weeks into the development and getting through all these steps for software secrets. So um, step four I'm going to talk about tomorrow. That's creating an opt-in page. And I will show you guys the opt-in page that Lindsay created for Software Funnels at softwarefunnels.com. Super exciting. And I'll tell you why you need to create an opt-in page on step four. Step five is setting up your Software Funnels account. Well, Software Funnels doesn't exist, but we'll get to that. Brainstorm and mind map is six, seven is wireframing. And eight is hiring a graphics designer. Now, why we why that step number eight? Because you can go get a specific designer just for your logo, but you also need a user interface designer, which this person might be different. So you might get lucky and your logo designer becomes your user interface designer that designs out all your pages for your software or your application. But uh, on that one, I'll go into a lot more detail of how to hire a good designer and what to do and how to get the right person. Um, then nine is designing pages, 10 is hire programmers, 11 HTML and CSS development. And if you don't know what that is, I'll explain what that is. And then host num step number 12 is getting hosting or servers. So that those are the steps. Um, tomorrow is creating an opt-in page and we'll give you a tool that you have to have when creating web pages. 
and it's our good friend that created that software. So I'll share that with you guys tomorrow. So if you're watching this, hopefully you got some good ideas of what you, where you can go and um, what you're what you can do with developing your logo. And this is step three. It's super important to get you get this done in the right order. So don't don't skip on to any other steps yet. So what what I want you guys to do is uh, comment below. Tell us where you um, what kind of logo designs that you've done in the past, or if you don't know what to do with the logo design, put any comments and we'll help you out. Um, also, uh, on day six, I, I think it was day six, I talked about over the next 30 days, so it's only about uh, 20, probably about 23 days remaining, is if you like the Software Secrets Facebook page and you leave a comment in any of the videos, um, one person is going to win a full um, access free to Software Secrets training program and the Software Secrets book that comes out in the spring of 2017. And you're also going to get six months free of the Software Funnels uh, software access. So make sure you like the page. When you like the Software Secrets page, and I'll put a link below in the comments, when you like the page, it's going to get you access to these daily videos and you don't have to watch them live, but you're going to see when I, they come up. You can also go to blog.softwaresecrets.com, see Lindsay's journals every day, and also see all of my videos, the past videos up at the top. You can see a Garrett's videos link. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully this worked. I, I'm using um, bluejeans.com, so that's what I'm using on my computer if you were wondering that was allowed me to do this live broadcast and show you my screen. Thanks guys and look forward to talking to you tomorrow on step four.